What's like the craziest like police interaction you've ever had? I had the neck strap on the camera and he literally, he damn near chokes me to get the camera off of me. You don't have a YouTube channel anymore. What happened there? So, uh, pretty much, um, all right, boys, what is good? It is your boy, Bay Baker. We are here on the fifth episode of the No Breaks Podcast, and I'm joined by my co-host, Liam Gimmick, today. Good, guys. How are you? And most importantly, we are interviewing my boy, Mob. What's up, bro? Paid him a lot of money to get here, maybe a little too much money. Not sure if he's worth it. Hopefully, it's going to be a good interview. Yeah, dude. I'm excited to answer your questions, bro. Mob, massive thing. Your channel just got banned. How do you feel about that? Um, To be honest, I don't really give a f you know, honestly, life is just a f***ing big old game of GTA to me, so I really don't give a sh to be honest. Like, when you say that, what does that mean? Like, how is life a game of GTA? I feel like, and this could help out a lot of people, you know, your life will be, like, so much better once you just, like, stop, like, caring as much. Like, don't take life seriously, you know? Everyone's gonna die anyway, so who gives a sh You know, you've had some massive success on YouTube. I want to know who were some of your inspirations to start YouTube and become a creator. I know a lot of y'all are going to hate on this, but I wouldn't, like, be anywhere where I am today, like, without um, Balin, actually. You could hate on it all you want, but Balin's inspired so many people, and, you know, I'm one of them. I know the shit I do is a little more, like, f***ed up than, like, you guys think it's, like, way more fucked up, and it is, than what he does, but... He still inspired me to do it. What gives you like the confidence to go up and just like straight on harass people? I really don't know. I mean, I obviously before I started YouTube, I would like go and like f around with my friends. I mean, the more you do it, the more you just you you like know how it is. You know, like what the police are gonna do. You like stop really like, giving a f as much. What's like the craziest like police interaction you've ever had? Definitely. Um. And this isn't even, this was never out on YouTube, but I was with my boy DJ. We were filming uh, pouring gasoline on cars, prank, like gasoline, it's really water in the can. A lot of you don't know this, I actually live in the city of Chicago. I don't live in the suburbs. I got an Airbnb recently. Obviously, I'm not old enough to pay for it. I'm just like, um, I'm 17. You guys aren't going to believe me, I know. We're both 17. Yeah. We both, every interaction is it's either you're younger or you're shorter wait so quick question like who paid for the airbnb all i'm gonna say is that i paid half of it and i can't say where we got the rest of that money from the last day of the bnb me and my friend dj were helping each other film so we were filming the pouring gasoline on strangers cars but it wasn't gas it was water of course we were in the suburbs because the mansion was in the suburbs we were in crystal lake crystal lake pd they could suck my the police department? Yeah. Well, why don't you like the PD there? Because they're f***ing pussies, dude. They can't take a joke. I hope the court sees this, too. You could suck my f***ing dick. So, we pour it on this dude's car. The cops show up. And I'm trying to be nice to the dude. I'm like, oh, dude, I'm so Like, you know, the usual. I'm sorry. I know you have better to do, but let's be honest. He doesn't have to do. He's in the f***ing suburbs of Chicago. So, he was like, no, actually, we don't have better to do. And you're, you guys are going to learn a lesson today all right so eventually we're detained you get scared like when the cops put you you went in the cop car correct yeah so they arrest put handcuffs on you no so you just went in the cop car yeah you and were sitting in the back yeah they took all your oh yeah so what happened with that was i have it all like hopefully the cop did something like a, like wrong so that i could get fired but he was like oh i'm gonna take your camera for evidence now I was like, no, you're not. And then he was like, yes, I am. So he starts, so I have like the neck strap on. I was, I was like, at this point I was filming DJ. I had the neck strap on the camera and he literally, he damn near chokes me to get the camera off of me. You're going to sue for that? I'm going to try. Hopefully. So like that's the craziest interaction you've had with cops. Till this day, my camera's still in evidence. Really? How do you feel about that? I got a new camera pretty much immediately after, so yeah, f that cop. You seem pretty like open about about all like the cop interactions and like all the court cases and whatever it is. A lot of other YouTubers like to you know they're hide. Scared. Yeah, they like to hide whatever they're doing, so they don't really talk about any like cop interactions or court cases or whatever yeah. it is. But you seem pretty open about it. So like, why why is that? Life is just a. F game to me i really don't give a shit. 
to be honest. Obviously, I'm not gonna go and murder someone, of course. When you say like life's a game, like what what gives you that like mentality? Honestly, I don't even know to be honest. What is like a takeaway from that situation? Like, did you learn? You know, he said he teach you a lesson. Did he teach you a lesson? For legal reasons, yeah, he taught. He definitely taught me a lesson. And like, what would that lesson be? I'm just trying to uh, reduce my punishment as much as possible here, so. You know, you do pranks, you do stuff that's like a little, like, you know, you harass people, you attack people. I mean, I wouldn't say harass. He stirs the pot. He stirs the pot, yeah. Isn't, like, harassing, like, you're, like, continuously, like, going up to someone and bothering them? You know, I don't really, like, follow someone around and, like, harass him like the whole day you know like how i don't see how it's like harassment so you, you stir the pot a little bit have you ever gotten jumped or has someone like fought you when you've like shot a video oh so actually the other day we weren't fil we weren't filming this but so i was at the mall with my friend with my friends uh, like about like a week ago and i had uh i had a shysty on and i was just being like hey you you from out here you from out here and i like did that and like he this dude was like he he didn't look like the type to be on that on that gang was he on that gang he was saying no, I'm business bro so he was like he was like hey the fuck you just do he was like he was like he was like hey what the fuck you want man and then so we all run to champs right yeah, yeah. and we're in there for a while. champs like your hiding spot like is that your spot no i mean we were just like trying to get away from him and, like he was so far behind us and like randomly we're in champs we're just like talking to these to these bitches, bro and like he f comes out of nowhere and he was like he was like hey what the f you say to me homie and his wife is there too is she bad or no no she was f ugly like so if he's watching us then what do you have to say what do you have to say to him like say right down the barrel Oh, uh, you're f ugly and so is your wife, dude. So did he do anything? Like, did he stand on business or what happened? Not really, but his wife did. So there, there's like shoe aisles and champs, right? Yeah. I'm like trying to like dodge him like in between the aisles. So I dodge him. I run to the exit and his wife is waiting for me. She was like, she was like scary ass b and like she and swings at me she but at yeah and she, she missed though she missed she has bad aim apparently she needs to get her mechanics up we just dipped he kept trying to look for us so like, he's harassing you let's be honest yeah, yeah at this point he's harassing me you know so like are you do you even do anything bad like i feel like that guy harassed you more than you harassed him oh uh, yeah pretty much all right so so you know i want to i'm really enjoying this combo so far a big thing is you know i don't know if anyone knows this like you guys might know this you don't have a youtube channel anymore yeah so like what what happened there? So uh pretty much um so it all goes back. Wait, let me let me actually check if like you're cleared to talk about the deal, about the kick deal. The kick deal. Should I check if you're cleared to talk about it? Yeah, I can't say for everyone. What? Are you, do you have to text him or shit? Yeah, let me text him. Yeah, yeah, really quick. Dude, I have to text Eddie. Eddie at stake. All right, we're good. We're good. We're clear. Right, we're clear. So guys, um, I know it might like come as a surprise to you, but. You know, he's going to explain, Mob is going to explain right now the actual reason behind why his channel got removed or deleted. Mob, why did your YouTube channel get deleted, my guy? All right, so pretty much, I'm sure you guys are all aware of Antonis. Probably not. I don't know. He's pretty irrelevant. But he's got a big personality. Big personality, you know. Uh, big titties, you know, one or the other. If you have me added on Snapchat, you might have saw the story where me and Antonis were actually at uh at a pool an indoor pool and you know obviously he is on the bigger side of the scales what does that mean uh he's fattish is this like fat shaming like what's going on uh, yeah it is fat shaming actually he jumped into the pool he did like a cannonball or whatever i recorded it i posted it on snapchat you know and he seemed to be fine with that um one of you guys and made an Instagram account saying like, oh, and Thomas is a fucking whale, you know, the typical like fat shaming shit. It's so, like you fat shame, but then you got mad at someone else fat shaming. No, I'm not mad at the person who oh. made the account. It was funny as shit. But the thing is that Antonis thought that I was the one that made the account, but I wasn't. So it just like started beef. I don't know if you guys know, he actually egged O Block. I'm surprised he didn't eat the eggs though, but. Wait, he egged O Block? Yeah, he egged O Block. He has like a fantasy with like egging people's houses. Really? 
When he thought that I made the Instagram account, he went and egged my house like two or three times. Three? He egged your house three times? I think it was two. I don't know. I don't really. You should have egged him back the third time. Like, come on. That's the thing. His house has gone egged before by other people. And, you know, he just doesn't seem to learn his lesson. I'm pretty sure he, like, had something to do with my channel getting banned because the reason why I got banned, so obviously one of the Airbnb videos was we set the house on fire. And when I upload YouTube videos, I like to upload drafts um, to see if it's gonna get monetized or not. I upload a, I upload the first draft, It get the ads get limited, so I delete it off of YouTube. It was never public, no one even saw that version of it. I upload the second one, it gets limited, so I delete it again. And then I upload the third one and it says, oh, it's fine, so that's the one I post. It ended up getting uh, community guidelines, that's why I got taken down, if any of you are wondering. So I have like one warning now. And the way YouTube works, you get three strikes in a month and you're banned. Wake up to a bunch of people just like spam calling me, uh, cause, I've, cause like my shit got banned. I see two notifications on my phone. It says the two drafts got community guidelines violations. And who who's helping you try to get this fixed? Mr. Manager, Bay Baker, Brandon, you know. We have like so many people working on it. If you like honestly like like my videos, um don't get your hopes up on it getting like restored, but there's a good chance that it will. This is what I want to say. This is my blanket statement. If someone at YouTube's watching, like odds are not, but if they are, mobs first community his, his first strike is a, is completely valid it was a video posted onto the platform and you guys have full rights with TOS to give him a strike for that video the second and third strike if those videos were public that would be fully fair to strike and ban his channel i no one can disagree with that the thing is is that they were not, public. not only were they not public they weren't even private they're off the platform already they're already taken down by me because they were it wasn't suitable obviously it wasn't really suitable for youtube so i took it down so yeah i get those two strikes three strikes you're out that's it and it was just weird because how could youtube strike a video that they can't even like see like it's it's already deleted yeah, let's say you do get it back right yeah. let's just hope you get it back what is the first video you'll post when you do get back I have a couple videos ready. Obviously, the rest of the videos we filmed at the Airbnb, um, those are gonna get posted. That's kind of old news though. Like, what are some new shit? Like, new shit no one's even. Do you have an idea? Like, you have a new idea? Like, like I wanted to shoot this. Obviously, when I get my camera back, cause like the cops have my SD card and, shit, I'd probably post that one, cause that was a crazy video. All right. So let's say five years from now, what's your plan? Make one plan if you're not doing YouTube and one plan if you are doing YouTube. I don't know if you guys know, but I actually, like, I actually, I recently just signed a $2.8 million deal with Kick. Thanks to lovely manager right here. Thank you, bro. Of course, my brother. $2.8 million deal. So, I mean, I'll be chilling, of course, you know. You don't, you guys don't want to worry about me. I'm probably going to be streaming on Kick, you know. I'll probably, like, IRL stream a bit. How do you, how do you feel, yeah. like, getting such a big contract from Kick? And being, you know, on the precipice of being, you know, I mean, I mean, I've heard that, you know, you could be, you could be the white Kai Sinat. Hell yeah, man. Um, someone more important is messaging me. Unless it's Brecky Hill's manager, your phone better not be opening. All right. What if you, what if you do get your channel back? You're just gonna grind YouTube. Do you have any plans as far as like bigger projects or where you're gonna live or what you're gonna do, like stuff like that? Like, what's the ideal? We're trying our best. We're really working hard to get your channel back, but if we can't get it back, like, what, what do you wanna do, like, then? I really wanted to get into IRL streaming. I'm gonna, if I do, I'm gonna stream on Kick for sure, like, which, dude. I'm sick and tired of these social media apps, like, being, like, so, like, sensitive, you know. I mean, YouTube yeah. just took you down. YouTube or Antonis, I mean, who, who, who knows, really? I'm like 99% sure it's him. Oh, yeah, 99% sure. I think we even probably know the bots, that the people that probably took him down. You know, I don't know, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but, you know, a lot of people, I told people that we we're going to have this episode, and I had a lot of people message me and say, uh, have you seen a video by a guy named Breon that, you know, talked about you getting banned? And you know, he said that instead of worrying about getting unbanned, that you were very focused on playing Fortnite duos with um, the master of Fortnite, Bay Baker. Yeah, um, I don't think I saw that video. Wait, who the f*** 
Because, uh, wait, who did you say? Breon, he's like a reactor. Breon, a reactor. Uh, one of those, uh, like... He has, like, the GTA clips. Oh, like the GTA. He, like, plays GTA while he talks about it. Oh, one of those idiots who can't even show their face on camera, yeah. He actually made two videos about you. Two videos? Oh, really? He thought that you quit YouTube because his video got 20 views, 20,000 views. So is that, like, yeah, is that is that the real so, reason? Wait, he said that you were so upset because he made that video about that about you so he changed so you changed your name because you were like <laughs> embarrassed or like upset and then that's why he couldn't find it when he searched your name out so what do you have to say like are you really that much of a like would you change yeah, your name man, I and i think the hate really got to me you know <laughs> all the haters bro they they really got to me dude do you want me to show you like a photo of brian yeah i mean if you want yeah so i'm gonna um, i'm gonna pop up a photo of brian you so look i'm gonna show you a photo of brian right now check that out i don't know if you've seen him but he you know doesn't have the clearest skin uh, so i mean i make it, it i'm saying no because you have very clear skin like he's given you so much advice about stopping pranks stop harassing people stop being like a little brat quit youtube he like gave you so many pieces of advice mm -hmm. maybe you could help with like a skincare routine yeah, man, I was just about to say that, actually. And Mob works out every day, too. So. Yeah, so maybe... Well, not every day, not every day. I'm trying to better myself, you know? You know Breon's successful when his photo, like, is him on, like, you know, his, his outlook? When he looks at his apartment, it's a highway. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think those uh, 20,000 <laughs> views are really going to pay you that much, but okay, dude. And all I could say is, is that, uh, obviously, there's a reason why he doesn't really have the confidence to like put a face cam in his videos <laughs> so so do you agree with the quote he made he said quote clout is a drug and mob i agree i agree um i wouldn't say clout i wouldn't say i wouldn't say clout is a drug i'm addicted to it's probably money uh i mean who doesn't love money let's be honest here like Breon doesn't he said he just does youtube for fun oh he just does YouTube yeah for fun. His quote is, Mo views, Mo problems. Really? Is that it? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you could go on a date with one influencer girl, who would it be? Brecky Hill. 100% Brecky Hill. Like, the... Wait, so can we talk about this? Like, you have recently gotten in contact with someone who's very close to Brecky Hill. So. I mean, I don't want to, like, sound like, a, hey. like a, a fan, you know, but, like... You could simp a little bit, I feel like. Let's just say I'm one person away from those buns. Brecky Hill, you know, if you had 30 minutes with Brecky Hill to do like a kick live stream, what would like the, what would that consist of? TOS. I'm confused. Like, what do you, you would do terms of service during that time period? Like, what do you mean? Like you'd read it to no, her, like, like, while she was like no, popping like, you up or? I mean, that's like a question. Like, if I answered it, it would get your podcast taken down. So, Brecky Hill, if you're watching this, I'll do anything to meet you. I'm your biggest fan. All right. How do you think, you know, your childhood or, like, your upbringing affected, like, you know, your personality and your confidence to film these type of videos? Well, like I said, you know, I'd always, like, f around with my friends. And I was always a Balin Glazer, you know, not so much anymore, but obviously I love Balin, you know. I wouldn't be where I am without him. Do your, would you say, like, your parents, like, do they support, like, the YouTube yeah, I feel like you pushed the line out of, like, all the pranks people I know. You're gonna think I'm, like, trolling, but I'm not, you know? Like, I'm 17, you know? I'm, like, about to be an adult soon. Same with Liam, you know? Believe it or not, I mean, I know we look very young, you know? I'm aware of that, but we are bo we're both 17. That's why, like, I feel like our kids are gonna be really, like, they're gonna look, like, really young. Wait, you wanna have kids with me? This is, like, a little soon. Yeah, like, if we decide to have, like, kids, like, they'd be, like, really You and Mom? Because of, like, genetics, yes. Well, that's kind of sus, dude. I don't think... No, but I'm just saying, no, I'm saying, like, I'm not that we, not that we would, but I'm saying, like, hi, like if we You want to f*** me? Like... No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, if we were to have kids, like... Oh. I don't know what that has to do with having kids, but... Wait, where do you think babies come from? Like, what? Yeah, no, like, you just have them. Me, like, the stork, though. But, like, the genetics are still there. Yeah. Oh, you don't know where babies come from yet, do you? Oh, I forgot he's still 12 years old. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, though? Yeah, first of all, well, me and Liam are both 17, you know, we're about to be adults. I'm 17. So. Yeah, you're 17, too, so. They're definitely not a fan of it, but they know I make my own money, and they know that it's, like, I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? So are you implying they don't support it, but you don't care? Like, they don't? Like, if they told you right now, you have to quit social media, or we're gonna kick you out of the house, what would you say? Uh, I'd say, f*** you. You're not kicking me out the house. 
So do you like disrespect your parents? Like, well, first of all, I'm a minor, so I don't think they could really just kick me out the house. Like they'd be in the wrong. I mean, hypothetically, you know, I love my family, you know, they're great people, you know, but like, I mean, and I don't think they would kick me out the house, but if they did kick me out the house, like, you know, I'd live, you know, like, I don't, like, it's not that big of a deal. So you're making enough that you could support yourself. Yeah. What is like the worst time in terms of like your parents or like your family getting mad at you? Like, is it like when a cop comes to the house or like, was there a specific yeah. video or something that like really got them upset about social media? Well, they try their best not to watch my videos. They don't really like it that much. What, what don't they like about it? Well, I mean, it's just like, I'm just being a dickhead, you know? I don't think they're like, they don't really f with it. But yeah. they understand it. What do they get and not get about it? Well, they get that I'm making my own money. That's literally, that's pretty much it. They're, like, oblivious to, like, everything else. Does your, like, family, like, know you're in New York right now? I didn't really tell them where I was going. I just said I'm going to my friend's house. Bye, bitch. Yeah, pretty much. What do you think about, like, Jack Doherty and, like, his type of content? I know a lot of people have said, like, compared you to Jack Doherty and, like, Jake Paul. See, I don't know why people compare me to Jack Doherty. I guess we're both kind of, like, dickheads. I guess that's where it, like, comes from. I mean, I know he would, like around in walmart but that has like no comparison to what i do so yeah i feel like i get what people are saying with the whole like oh you make jack doherty look like an angel <laughs> you know yeah but at the same time i mean the other it is isn't that far like from it like besides youtube do you feel bad after you do certain pranks or no what dude yeah i'm fucking dude go storm Mom, we're in the middle of recording and all i hear is boom 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 like i feel like i'm literally in ukraine right now <laughs> Are we back? <laughs> the mic probably connected from where you were. All right, boys, so we're back on the fourth episode. We have to put that in the video. I mean, we have to put that shit in All right, so, um. Wait, hold on. My question, do you feel bad after you do a prank? Because for me, I feel like, I'm like, damn, maybe it could have gone differently, but I usually try not, like, you're, like, crazy. Because, like, I watch your videos, and I feel bad for, like, the people in your videos. Do you actually? Yeah, bro. Well, Why would you feel bad for them? Do you ever put yourself in the position of the people that you fuck with? First of all, you're a grown man or woman. You're not pranking minors. I mean, usually, sometimes, but first of all, you're a grown-ass man, and you're getting upset that you're upset that a kid like me called you, like, a like... You see the camera. It's not like I'm just going off camera. I mean, yeah, sometimes I do that. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but you know it's a f joke, and you're still getting pressed over it. And most of the time, I don't just go and, like, cuss at someone. So you never feel bad? You've never felt bad about it? No, no. I honestly, like, I'm trying to think of a time where I felt bad. I'm trying to think of one time. I've never felt, felt bad. I mean, maybe there was, like, a couple you times. You don't be but... no fuck, basically. I mean, yeah. Making, like, I ain't giving no fucks. I'm making money for fun. Exactly. That's literally what it is, though. All right, so my, my big question for you is this. What do you think your purpose is in life? I mean, I don't really think about that, you know? Because, like, if you don't have a purpose, then your life, no matter how much money you make, is never going to feel fulfilled to you. Unless your purpose is making a billion dollars. Exactly. I feel like that's a purpose. Is that your purpose, you think? Honestly, to make people people laugh, you know? I try my best to do that. Whether it's at the expense of other people, of course, you know, I don't really give a f about that. I like I like making people happy. I like making their days better. Obviously, not the people I'm harassing, harassing, but we don't f with that term. Yeah, we don't we don't f believe it. when they say we're harassing, we're just talking to them. Cause the reality is, like, yeah, we're professional on all this, but um, I mean, we got two professional harassers. We all are here. like, I, like we all are kind of best friends. You know what I mean? Like. You're one of my best friends, but I would say we've talked a few times about like religion and shit. So obviously I know the answer, but for the viewers, like, are you like religious at all? Yeah, um, I'm Christian, you know, like I pray to God here and there. I wouldn't say I'm like the greatest person, but like you think you act in the way of God? Uh, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, cause, like I get emails like I get emails on my business email all the time, like people telling me oh uh, like i helped them out of like a dark space you know yeah, we're looking through one today it was like crazy do you think yeah. you have a positive impact like you think you're more of a positive I impact think... than a negative impact uh i don't know i mean i mean it depends on how you take the videos to be honest you could say like i'm influencing like kids to be like even more like 
than I am. Because here, here, here's how it goes, you know? Yeah, I grew up watching Balin, so that leads to me being um, a little bit worse than him. Someone might grow up, grow up watching me and be worse than me, and it's like an endless cycle, I guess. But most people aren't going to really have the balls to do the same shit, you know? They're not going to, you know, it's either they're going to get, like, out by their parents or um danny spud oh but yeah so basically yeah let's talk about danny spud real quick like i mean nothing against him of course i love danny spud you know i love him to death bro like how do you feel about the whole danny spud situation it's a it's a really unfortunate situation you know i mean i feel terrible for him you know if you could only get one account back would it be your account or his account (laughs) i mean his account's up though no but i'm saying like be able to post you guys both can't post see ya well, I can post, just not on the channel I'd like to, you know? Here's the way I see it. I'd want to get my channel back. Obviously, like, like we're all in this together, bro. And I told Danny this, you know, like, no matter what happens, we're gonna, one way or another, we're gonna make it. We're gonna be successful in life. No matter what, whether your channel blows up, whether my channel blows up, whether we're successful in something else, we're gonna make it together, you know? I'm not just gonna let him go broke and he's not just gonna let me go broke no matter what we got each other and that's what friends are for you know same with liam same with you same shit with egging lucha's house same shit with egging lucha's house yeah that's the biggest joke in our group explain explain that that. yo explain egging lucha's house all right so in tanas when when we were friends me tanas when we were friends we we said oh when Antonis gets his license we're gonna we're gonna and drive to New York and egg Lucha's house. Yes, sir. Let's egg his house. Yeah, we're gonna f-ing egg his house. Are we really gonna egg it? No, I'm, I'm doing it tonight. I'm being dead ass. I'm paying for the Uber. We're going to Lucha's house and egging it tonight. In the middle of the night. I'll do it. I'm being so serious. I'm. So, I'm you don't even have to come, Liam. So, and I'll buy the eggs. I don't know. We were like so set on it, and now it's just I'm not so gonna happen. All right, so we'll figure that situation out. But. Yeah. But most, most very important question. The people have DM me all day, nonstop. Final question. Final My question DMs question. are going crazy crazy like got we got everyone from age 12 to 112 asking me this question in my dms they've asked are you single or are you dating someone including becky hill i'm gonna sign my life over to brecky hill so Dude, yeah. are you dating someone or are you single huh no i'm single. he's waiting for brecky hill all right so i want to know this is the bay baker specialty question bay baker owns this question on the market what are your red flags in women um when she's Fat. So Antonis' sister? Yeah, pretty much. Antonis' mother? <laughs> yeah, fuck Elena. Do you have another do you have another red flag? As long as you as long as you give good head, you know, you're okay with me. <laughs> and uh, do you have any closing thoughts or like motivational quotes for anyone that wants to be a creator or blow up on social media right now? Stop caring so much. Do what you love. Life's just a f-ing game. You just gotta be good at playing it, you know. And, and don't don't fail RP. It's a little joke we have. My boy Mob does something you guys don't know about. My boy Mob makes music with a capital M. Can you talk about it? You have an album drop. I just got into it. I was one of those kids who like made those like gay parody songs. You know, I got kind of good at it. You know, making music. So can I play a snippet or can I play a snippet? Uh, yeah, you can play a snippet. All right, all right guys, it's a snippet from oh, My Boy Mob's upcoming album upcoming album and Thomas assassination you guys be ready it's gonna drop soon so what does that mean like in Thomas assassination like Thomas assassination whatever you want it to mean guys everyone comment down below if you know what Antonis assassination means I don't know what that's supposed to mean Can we get a live performance Yo, why wanna go eat that shit? He finna bring you canes. Yo, dad, Darius is drunk, driving off the champagne. Wait, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Yeah, so, uh, in that bar, your dad, Darius, is drunk, driving off the champagne. So, his dad, Darius, just recently got convicted for DUI. Um, yeah, and, uh, and Thomas has to be the man of the house now, so. Is he going to jail? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in jail for DUI right now. Hi, right, yo, guys. Thank you so much for watching the fourth episode of the No Breaks Podcast. Everyone, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Guys, if we are able to get this episode to 8,000 likes, I'm going to be giving away $1,000. Guys, everyone, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. This is the fourth episode of the No Breaks Podcast. Comment down below whoever you guys want me to interview next. If we get to 1,000 likes, I'm going to be giving away $1,000 to you guys. Make sure to comment if you want the money and what you would do with it. Thank you guys so f-
much for watching this. Mob, thank you for coming on, my boy. And, uh, yo, I think I got the money worth, bro. I paid my boy a lot of money to come on, and I think I got my money's worth. I'm not gonna lie. Final I words, Gantanas. You could suck my d Or you could f eat it, you fat